Shabori. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Savage Tech once again, and we have yet another Talking Head video. Hope you're having a great weekend and a great Sunday morning, and I have some good news for you. Well, potentially good news. This is going to be a rumor video, and it's going to be about AMD advanced micro devices you know that little company that makes pc parts graphics cards and cpus you remember they came out with mcms which stand for by the way multi-chip modules for cpus recently of course and it took the world by storm starting out with zen 1 they didn't even have chiplets and then once they figured it out it was like bye bye intel well they're looking to do the same thing for graphics processing units or GPUs. In a recent article from, of course, WCCF Tech, who covers rumors oh so well, we have a report here that, according to rumors compiled by video cards, AMD's Navi 31 GPU will be the company's first MCM-based design and pack a ton of punch. MCM designs have been the holy grail of speculation for quite a few years now, and ever since AMD introduced MCM-based CPUs, like we talked about at the intro of this video, it has been the next logical step in their production evolution. In a way, an MCM GPU makes even more sense than a CPU, considering the largely parallel type of tasks the GPUs handle. So, oh, wow, this is insane. One of the things I wanna mention is that for gaming, this is gonna be intense. We're talking about crazy compute. For mining, maybe not so much on Ethereum, but these things could really make up or pick up the slack on other coins with their compute power for sure. So let's get into this a little bit more. There are some people chatting about it on Twitter. Graphics Odyssey Hardware said, got some information on that. I heard that was a possibility. And Kepler said, nothing I can confirm 100% now, but from what I know, Navi 31 is an 80 CU chiplet and the top SKU has two of them. That would mean that the top SKU, by the way, would have exactly 10,240 cores, twice the amount of cores on a Navi 21 die, which is gonna be your 6,000 series GPUs. That's twice, twice the amount of cores, boys. I'm excited. Now, of course, this is just a rumor and I wanna make that extremely clear however we do have patents that are backing up this rumor the patent is a synchronization mechanism for work groups being filed by amd the synchroniz synchronization method for mcm gpus is also a key foundation of the patent so if you take a look at the patent I will leave a link to it down in the description below. Essentially what you're gonna see is the design to essentially add chiplets to graphics processing units. And one of the big things that they note is that previously it wasn't easy to do because of the latency between chiplets. Now AMD has always been a fan of, of putting, of course, more cores on the GPU. We've seen this before with some of their old GPUs where they would have like the 295 X2 and you'd have two graphics processing units on the same motherboard. But of course the latency between them issues with multi GPU functionality within Windows, especially at the time was pretty poor uh, with all the communication with the different APIs. It just didn't always function well. It didn't function in every game. And then this is obviously a different design because it's chiplet. So it's gonna be the same core with the little chiplets, just like you see on their CPUs. And for the most part, they have figured out all the latency issues on the CPU side. So I'm pretty confident they're gonna be able to do it on the GPU side. This rumor makes a lot of sense. That's why I'm bringing it to y'all's attention. This isn't like one of those rumors where it's like, oh, it's gonna be 30 times faster. And we have like a screenshot of some random benchmark that we can't verify. No, this is a patent based rumor. And another big part to that is that it just does make a ton of sense for AMD to go in this direction with graphics processing units. Now on the last release, the RX 6000 series versus the RTX 3000 series, they have made some massive leaps forward. Not only 
does it seem that their Founders Edition GPUs have a better build quality, but they are better at performing tasks in normal rasterization methods. So they've got the power there. The places they're falling behind, obviously, are things like ray tracing, so on and so forth. But I don't mind having a couple different options in the market as far as gaming GPUs go, where you have one that performs better at lower resolutions, higher frame rates, and then another one that gets higher frame rates, of course, with more features at higher resolutions. And that's kind of the argument that I've been seeing with Radeon, at least personally, as with the RX 6800 and 6000 series in general, I seem to prefer that on my 1080p 240 Hertz monitor. While when I jump over to something like Cyberpunk and want to play on my 4K TV, I want to pop in that RTX 3080 or 3090, right? And that's just, I think that's a good thing to have in the market are those options for people to choose from. Now, AMD has also fixed a lot of their software issues. I have a couple gripes coming from a miner. I don't like the things that they've shut off with adrenaline over the years and that I wish that they wouldn't have reduced the functionality by making you know the software better in some way. It's really hard to like put my finger on, but you know, you have them blocking a lot of things like flashing GPUs and modifying power play tables and then not suffering consequences due to the software on the system and not due to you messing something up with like a flash. So the gaming performance on like the 6000 series, I feel like you could unlock a little bit more if the software was a little bit more friendly to modding and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, nobody's quite figured it out. When they do, don't worry, come back to this channel and I will have the information on how to get that done. So we have talked about undervolting the 6000 series, all that sort of thing. You can check that out here on this channel, as well as how to turn on rage mode for the RX 6800. And this is great news coming from AMD or coming from, you know, video cards here. If we're getting chiplets, I think Nvidia should be worried. Genuinely think Nvidia should be worried because that's going to be a big deal. You're going to be able to double your performance level from a core perspective and a compute perspective, you know, over one generation, which is, you know, how essentially AMD beat Intel. So to say that they may be able to beat Nvidia here just based off of chiplets isn't even that hard to fathom, right? It's, it's incredible. So once again, take it with a grain of salt. It's a rumor. We'll leave a link to the patent down below as well as the original article. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links. Get $25 when you stake some crow with my referral code down in the description, as well as go check out what GPUs are available, if any, on Amazon with the Amazon link down below. And I will see you next Tuesday.